Hi, my name is Natalie Williams. I am a certified personal trainer. In this video, we are going to go through 15 minutes of exercises using the foam roller for upper body. Come to a seat with your feet about hip width apart, a nice bend in the knees, and your bottom on the ground. Make sure you have a nice open flat surface around you. And we're gonna place this foam roller underneath the lower back where it meets your back as well as the ground. Squeeze your core, hold on to it as you find your way to where your weight is stabilizing the foam roller. Place your hands crisscross or behind your head, but don't pull on your head. And we're just gonna go ahead and lift and squeeze your core and roll back and forth. So you're getting the lower back to the upper back, just the spinal curvature there. And what you're doing is we're massaging the erector spinae muscle. So you can stop in any place that feels extra good to you and hold it there. Try to breathe through any tension if you can. Deep breath in and out and just rolling back and forth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way a little bit higher now. So working a little bit higher, you're gonna place your hands behind your head and open up your shoulders and elbows. So that way you are getting a nice little stretch in the chest, but you're really focusing on your delts right now. So going back and forth, up and back, stopping in any place that feels really good again, and a little bit higher and higher, but let's go ahead and pause. Keep the hips lifted. The higher the hips, the more weight you're gonna put on your upper back. So holding it here, deep breath in and out. Good, really open up and make sure you're not pushing your neck forward. You're also stabilizing it here. And then we're gonna just lower the hips. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and sit controlling your core down and placing it on your neck now. So what you're doing is there, it's the occipital on your skull. You're gonna place your um, roller underneath that and you're just gonna look up right now. So this is a good tension release spot right here without even realizing it. You hold a lot of tension on that occipital. You can place your hands down or you can just kind of hold on to it for stabilization, whatever you prefer, or you might even notice that you might need to give a little bit more of a movement so that the pressure of the roll is right underneath your occipital. So just hang out here, take a few breaths in and out. Then you're just gonna go ahead and rock your head over to the right and then gently over to the left. And then just back and forth over to the right and then left. You might notice you have certain tension in some areas. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and look over to the left now. And you'll notice that you have another area that sticks out in your skull. You're gonna hold it there. A lot of tension builds up there. You might notice almost like a pool in your head, which is really good because that's indicating that you're just releasing the fibers right through there in your muscles. And then also you're getting into the microfascial release is which we're targeting. And that's the fascia right here. Just hold on to it. You can look up just a little bit or down. If you have neck issues, obviously be mindful of that up and down. So your neck muscles are really small compared to the lower body. So just make sure you're not overdoing it here. So if you need to stop, lift up your neck a little bit and just apply less pressure. Then gently come to the center or stop if that feels really good, you feel that extra sweet spot and look over to the right now. Same, you're gonna find that little bulb that's sticking out and hold it here. Apply as much pressure as you'd like. That's the beauty of yourself lifting your neck up or pushing it down and just focus on your breathing. Notice it. You might have noticed your breath was a little shallow because you have a lot of tension in your body because you're releasing it. You're building it up, you're focusing on it and you're releasing it and letting go. So from here, you can go chin up and down if you'd like. And then you can go back and forth again. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on up, so engage your core, and place both legs over to the left a little bit. And we're gonna use the strength of your core to push up in your arm, moving the foam roller up and underneath with a slight bend in your elbow. You can lift up your hips if you want to, but we're just gonna go back and forth underneath the shoulder. So right underneath the shoulder region as you're going back and forth. This, you might notice it's extra tender because again, your muscles are a little bit smaller than your big muscles in your lower half. So really just focus on what you can do instead of what you can't and hold if that you can find that spot where you just feel that tension there. If you have shoulder issues, be extra careful and you can keep your elbow in a little bit more. 
but hold it out and just hold it. It should be right underneath the armpit and a little bit more back. So you're opening up your chest a little bit. If you can roll it, roll it. If not, don't stress it. If you can come up and lift up your hips, go for it. Back and forth, up and back. Now we're gonna work a little bit more of the lats. So place the left hand down, push up and roll it a little bit under. And we're gonna send our knees to the side and you're gonna massage up and back right here. So a little bit up and over back and forth and again find what feels good to you and if this is too much you can always hold on to something in front of you and then hold that sweet spot if you feel it squeeze your core so you're just not coming out of this and being on you want good form hold it and apply that pressure in that region of the body where you need it you might feel an extra good spot then gently come on down and we're going to go ahead and switch to the other side so move it up and over First, we're gonna bring it under our armpit and bend in the elbow and hold it back in front. This is really good for the shoulders, working them back and forth. You might notice an extra spot and you might also feel that one side is a little bit tighter than the other. This is a really good way to indicate it. So back and forth, if you want extra pressure, lift up your hips, but make sure you stabilize this because it does roll. So it's whatever feels best for you and just breathe through it in and out. And again, if you haven't done this before, or if you don't do it often, you'll really notice that the more you do it, the more you have less buildup in your body of tension and it can just release and relax, which is wonderful. It's just like any exercise. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the less tension you'll have in your body. So hold it, hold it, hold it. Then we're gonna place the right hand down, squeeze the core, lift it up. Lift up your hips a little bit and adjust it to where you're getting the lats back and front, over and up. But squeeze your core, be careful for the lower ribs. Whenever you're up back here, it's a lot of pressure, so don't go down too far unless if you can handle it. Back and front. Keep the core engaged, deep breathing in and out. And hold that sweet spot, hold it, hold it, hold it. If you need to pause this video, you can, and hold any of these positions as much as you'd like. But about 30 to 90 seconds is a good time frame. Then gently lower the hips, and we're gonna go ahead and move this before you have the foam roller horizontal. This time you're gonna move it vertical, and you're gonna come on up, lifting up through your hips. So place the foam roller underneath you. You want your head to be completely stabilized onto it. So if you can see, I'm gonna to turn to you so you can see me. So you can see my head is all the way on the foam roller. You're gonna to have to keep an engaged core. And what we're gonna do here, you want it in the middle portion of your back, but make sure your neck is not falling off of it or it's not completely kinked. So you find that good spot, take your time to do so. Your feet are about hip width or a little bit wider because that provides more stability. Your arms are just gonna go out. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold it here for a second. Hold it here. What you're doing is you're stretching everything out through here and you're applying pressure on the lower portion of your bottom and also your head. Take a deep inhale and exhale and squeeze your core and rock very slowly side to side. Getting your back all the way through back and forth. And then come back to the center. You should have a nice curvature in the lower back and then your chin should be up. You're gonna place your hands behind your head and open up those elbows. Next, we're gonna go ahead and work in between the shoulder blades. So you're gonna rock side to side, stopping in any place that feels extra good for you. Your traps all throughout here. And again, finding that sweet spot. And you may notice yourself feel this relaxation kick in in certain areas and you may notice it feel nothing in others. But again, this is learning about your body and just indicating where you can release that tension. Next, we're gonna keep our arms cactus right here. And then you're gonna reach over your head and then you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together and you'll really feel that if you're tight there in between your shoulder blades and down. And then stop in any place that feels extra tension where it can just release. 
you're really actually, it's kind of bizarre. You're trying to find the tension in your body and you're trying to hold on to that spot so that it, the ball or wherever everything's holding up clumped together, it can just let go and just release. So again, find that tension spot, breathe in and out and notice, especially after 30 seconds, how it starts to give in a little bit more. And after 90 seconds is about the golden number to where that fascia can just release and let go completely. So try to take a few breaths here in and out. You're getting a chest stretch as well while you're doing this, but your intention is really for in between your shoulder blades. And again, you can move your arms again, especially if you've already released that spot, you'll find yourself just given and release. What you can also do is focus on your exhalations. If you make your exhalations longer, it can really just calm down your central nervous system, which gives into the relaxation of your body and expedites the process of releasing the muscle. So hold on to anything that feels extra good to you. And then gently go ahead and come on out. Very important, remember you have a prop, and not only a prop, but it rolls. So squeeze your core, come out of this, nice and gentle, as graceful as possible. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come and bring the foam roller forward. And you can come to your knees if you can. You can place something under your bottom if that feels good to you. And we're gonna go ahead and first, we're gonna stretch out the fingertips. So go ahead and curl the fingertips up and roll it in. And then you're just gently gonna go ahead and apply pressure. And if you can, roll it on top of your wrist. If you can, you can also come up. That applies pressure. And you can roll back and forth right through here. If that's too intense for you, obviously you can come up off of it, you can control the weight. Next, we're gonna roll the forearms up through this area. So hands face up. You're gonna roll back and come down in front. Stopping in any place that feels extra good to you. Back and front. Then you're gonna place the hands coming in together. Back and front. And then the hands are gonna face up and you're rolling up, up and back. Then if you can, to get a little bit more of an upper roll, you're gonna place your hands together and roll up and back to get the triceps. Holding in any area that feels extra good to you. Holding it. And you're also getting an extra stretch in the back muscles as well and you're separating the shoulder blades apart and lower back is getting released. From here, we're gonna go ahead and come place your left hand in front. You're gonna come on up, your knees underneath your hips. So your hand is faced up. You're not on your joints, you're never on your joints. You're right, the foam roller is right on top of it. Placing your hand down, we're gonna roll it in front to get a little bit more deeper of the tricep muscle in back. And then hold it in any spot that feels really good to you. You can also bend the elbow and roll back and forth depending on your flexibility and get higher into the shoulder. Up and back. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch arms. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and keep the foam roll in front. You keep it just like how you had it before. And you're gonna come on over because the hand was just like so up front. You're gonna tilt your hips over and then you're gonna hold it through and over. But take this right hand Place it on the, in front of it and roll out, holding it here, back and front, getting that tricep muscle. And you can bend the elbow and go in a little bit further and come up all the way to the shoulder. If this is too complicated or too intense for you, you can just hang out and just stop where you were and just continue those exercises. Then go ahead and come on up. And finishing it out. Great job. Thank you so much for practicing these exercises with me. I hope this 15 minute video for upper body helped you and make sure you always consult with your physician prior to engaging in any exercises.